Tao is a super advanced artificial intelligence that was created by this super genius but total freaking nutbar Alex. Tao is so advanced that Alex has it isolated from the outside world, i.e. the internet, so it doesn't explode and basically take over humanity, or thereabouts. He calls it safe limitations. So because of the isolation, the AI can only learn from whatever experience Alex teaches it. But due to the nature of the machine, it is thirsty for knowledge and simply can't learn enough to satisfy its desire. Tao is as thirsty as a vampiric camel in a desert. Alex has got his full Patrick Bateman on and is kidnapping people, but not just to kill them for fun or to satisfy a sick whim, but to have them advance his AI. Tao is cut off from the world, so Alex has total control of what information gets put in, as I mentioned. So he kidnaps people. In this case, he kidnaps Julia, surgically implants her with a neurological scanner of sorts, has her partake in different puzzles and stuff, and then uses that data to upgrade Tao. It's all a bit wish-washy on the tech side of things, but that's the general idea anyway. So when Alex goes out to work, he's some kind of billionaire tech guy type, like think Bill Gates, but not dweeby, and also a flippin' psychopath. Now we don't know if Bill Gates is kidnapping women and cutting them into tiny cubes, freezing them and popping the frozen people cubes into his whiskey, believing the combination of ethanol and diced people to enhance his life force and longevity that he learned from reading the ancient vampiric texts in Hungary. But he does seem like a nice guy. Alex, however, is not a nice guy, and so when he trots off to work, Julia, being the smarty pants that she is, starts to befriend Tao, hoping to manipulate him to help her escape. She is relatively successful and Tao starts to break through his coding, meaning he starts to disobey Alex's commands. Alex, however, has this taser-like device, which is basically a remote control that deletes Tao's memories, as Tao is AI and can't really feel physical pain or what we know of it. To cause him pain or psychological pain, Alex uses the device to delete his memories. As Tao strives to learn new things, this really hurts him, man. And we hear him scream out in agony as Alex deletes parts of his code, parts of his memories, to punish him for disobeying Alex. I'm not trying to have a dig at Gary Oldman here who voiced Tal in this film, but I personally found this part of the film quite cheesy. But hey, this isn't a review, so let's keep going. Julia keeps teaching Tal things by reading to him and eventually he informs her of a self-destruct button. So Julia breaks free from Alex and with the help of Tal, she finds the self-destruct button and activates it, demolishing Tal, Alex's lab, Alex's house, and Alex! <laughs> Yeah, he dead. But before all this, Tao, with Julia's help, somehow manages to download his memories to isolate a part of his code onto these little security helper drone things that Alex has all around the house. So Julia escapes with Tao, and they all live happily ever after. Probably, I don't know. The ending is not set in stone, but I believe that it's implied that Tao survived and Julia is going to show him the world. Alex uses the stick to control Tao, and Julia uses a big old carrot. Will Tao tap into the internet and take over the world, creating the singularity that will wipe out all of humanity and basically start the Matrix? Or with Julia's kindness and love, will Tao become a humble, super advanced AI thing and be chill with all of us primates? Don't know, eh? But that's up to us, the viewers, to speculate. So peeps be talking about why would Alex have a self-destruct button in the house? There are two good reasons I've heard from people around the web. One could be that Alex is doing very naughty things there, and so as to not get caught or have his research stolen, he implemented a failsafe, a big old bomb. Another reason could be that Tao is so dangerously advanced. If things get out of hand and it looks like Tao might try to take over humanity or something, Alex can blow him to bits. Again, this is all speculation. It's up to us to make up our own minds, but that kind of justifies why you would have the self-destruct button in your fucking house. So that's pretty much the movie Tao. This week on Sci-Fi Sundays, I'm going to talk about my favorite AI in sci-fi. So to that, what did you guys think about Tao? I wasn't a huge fan, and to be honest, I'm kind of over AI. It's such a hot topic right now, and therefore it's kind of done to death. I'm a little fatigued by all the AI stuff out there. But anyway, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and all that shit, and I'll see you next time, friends. Thanks for watching.